everyone. Hope everybody's having a good day. We are planting cotton and picking cucumbers over here. So we've seen a bunch of cotton this year. Let's go check out some cucumbers. Everybody, welcome. Well, we are in the cab of a cucumber harvester with my good buddy Jamie Peeler. He's uh, picking the cucumbers, and what should we talk about? So, you guys get in here early in the morning, and then you just drop the head and it scoops them up and puts them in the basket, pretty much. Pretty much. You just gotta watch your head, make sure you ain't going too low, too high. Just keep your head, make sure you ain't leaving none under your belts. All right. Make sure the ground's playing behind you. Yep. What's the biggest mess up you've ever had picking cucumbers? Probably blowing a hot dog oil. It's a pumpkin fifty gallon. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, these machines are massive. It looks like a lot. Now, didn't you say you don't grease anything on these machines? Like something. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. But it seems to when you get in rainy, when you're picking in the mud and the sand, right? Then these it just gets in these bears. No matter if you grease them or not. Yeah. So you cause yourself more harm greasing them, right. just yeah. letting it roll. I feel like there's some really good questions out there. I'm just not thinking of them. Oh well. All right, Jamie. Appreciate it, bud. I'll let you get back to work. We're just standing still right now. Everybody's working. We're just hanging out. Perfect. Hey guys, all right, get you called up. They got all the cucumbers picked. So now we're trying to get everything dissed. And Kyle had a Baron go out on our 630, 26 foot disc. We got it fixed. The spindle looks terrible, but hopefully it's gonna hold on. I'm headed now to the strip till to uh, strip till it. And then as soon as we get done with all that, we're going to finish planting cotton. Keep you planted about 46 acres or so here. Then we got a rain, so we had to quit. Uh, and yeah, now we're back at it. So headed that way. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to our channel. Give it a like if you want to. If not, not a big deal. This tire was leaking, but I plugged it. So hopefully it's gonna, my plug's gonna stay. Let's crank this AC up, it's hot. All right, she's folded out, ready to roll. And this cotton here was just planted uh, the other day. So you can tell it's already coming up. You got your little baby cotton. There you go, little baby cotton already coming up. So, doesn't take long, about four days and she's already on top of the dirt. Looking good. There's Kyle over there, distant. Look at all the flies. Oh, sorry, YouTube. Bleep it out. Beep. Keep, you just called me and he is here now planting cotton. So we've got some of our pop-up nozzles we think aren't putting out. So we're going to check them out, make sure, hopefully they're all putting out. And then he's going to strike out planting cotton. That's what we want to see coming out. Hope you got your switch on. That's going. Those are good. That's good. Good, good. Good. Oh, that one's not good. All right, use this one right here. Lift her up. Not bad. So out of 24 nozzles, only one will stop up. 
We're gonna try her again. Check our seed depth while we're waiting. So you put cotton just barely in the dirt, especially under pivot, you can get it up. You'd rather be too shallow than too deep any day. Good. Oh yeah. There he goes. Got all the cucumber still on the ground. That's a perfectly good cucumber. Yeah. Well, that was an easy fix. Starting to cloud up, it feels great out here. And one of the challenges of being a farmer, especially in Florida where the weather, every afternoon you're dodging a rain shower, is the decision, should I spray or should I wait? Because a lot of the chemicals, you know, you want at least, you know, say two to four hours dry time for it to set before it rains. And then a lot of times when you decide, no, I'm not gonna spray, it doesn't rain. So that just kind of puts you further behind. So today we're risking it. Jeff called me, wanted to know to spray. I said, you know what, let's roll the dice. Let's just spray it and hope for the best. Because a lot of your chemicals, you want to get watered in the dirt anyway. Like, you know, Cadre or Dual or even Extendamax is best to be watered in. So we'll see. Well, look who it is. How's it going? My old cousin Jordan. I was just talking about uh, how a difficult decision it is to spray or not to spray in the afternoons because you've got a good chance of a rain shower every afternoon oh yeah like today we're risking it and we're saying you know what we're just going to spray yeah but there's a good chance that everything is going to get washed away that's that's all farming that's is part gambling. of it i like that hat what is that ducks unlimited okay i like that mustache too can i get it on film yes that's nice <laughs> back in the tractor we're getting the pivot walking out of the way There's Kyle over there dissing around the bottoms. Keeping my fingers crossed he doesn't get too close and get stuck. A little windy, walking up now to uh, reverse the pivot. I got strip tilled up under the pivot, so now I just need to walk it out of my way so I can jump over to the other side and do that. First. So these two cowbirds are fighting over, it looks like a dead rabbit or maybe a dead rat. Let's see if we can eat the whole thing whole. Oh yeah, dead rat. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Got one little spot that's pretty wet still, so we're gonna let it dry out and then we'll try it tomorrow. All right, Tamara is here back in the strip till, stripping right here by the bottom. So it's a little sticky right here. We definitely will not be going through that. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I've been doing this morning is stripping. Hey there, a lot of work getting these shots. But the strip till is doing good. The dirt's just right on top of the hills. It's a little sticky down there in the bottoms. It's even more sticky, but for the most part, uh, she's doing great. the strip till rig doing the last 12 rows now and yeah that's that's it strip tilling's done that's a wrap we are officially done with the strip till so we'll get this cleaned up next week get it all clean grease the strip till up and get her unhooked and then we'll take the tank off and then we got a new hood that we'll put on it because that hood is toast so uh why don't we go check on keefy see what he's up to doing the last field of cotton behind cucumbers um i'm on the planter should be down with this here just a little bit i don't got about uh about 70 acres left that we'll have all the plant all the cotton planted for 2021 Running a tractor with irrigation pivots in the field as you always gotta move them out of the way. 
sometimes you can time it just right where you don't have to stop and sometimes you time it wrong <laughs> and you gotta sit there and wait on it for a minute i just want to tell y'all how much we appreciate y'all watching jimbo's channel that little fella sure puts a lot of hard work into it and uh and he absolutely absolutely loves doing it for y'all anyhow i appreciate all y'all watching and supporting us and uh commenting on our videos speaking of comments man it ain't no way i can hit everybody but i thought i'd give a few shout outs to the ones i, I noticed a lot um jimbo didn't tell me to do this but scotty mcbooger balls i hope i said that right man we appreciate all the comments uh penny haldeman just about every video norm makers oh gosh brenton matters uh greg rhodes and there's so many more of y'all that, that comment just on practically every video. Maybe next time I do a little video, I'll try to get some of the rest of you. But all you guys, man, we appreciate y'all. And uh, enjoy y'all riding with us. And uh, like I say, we own the last 70 acres of cotton for 2021. Um, the pivot point, it's a 140 acre field. This pivot point I'm waiting on to move out of the way is, is the halfway mark. So I just started on the last half which would be the last 70 acres just thought i'd say that and uh thumbs up to everybody and uh y'all hope hope y'all have a good one and hope y'all enjoy what we do for y'all i know some of it seems a little silly sometimes but uh, jimbo's a kid at heart and uh he got a big heart bless his heart <laughs> oh anyway get y'all back in a minute Here's a drone. Jimbo wanted me to take y'all on the ride to the last row. This is the end of the video. Appreciate you guys watching. Before we go, let me play this quick clip of last year of me running my drone in the cucumber picker. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, no! Forgot to play that earlier. Uh, I plan to get some footage of like the cucumber shed or pickle shed, whatever you want to call it, where they process the cucumbers. Never got around to it, but uh, hopefully next video or the video after next, uh, we'll go down the pickle plant and uh, get some footage of that. So nonetheless, I'm here at this pivot about to get it fired up. We got some uh, younger cotton, the last field we planted um, that we just sprayed. So go ahead and get that watered in. And over here is our, tell you what, let's just go take a look at it real quick. This is the field that we had the video that's um, farming weeds looking like a wild jungle. And it looks a thousand times better until all the volunteer peanuts are dead as a doorknob. They got the pig weeds laid them down all the grasses are dead well that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching to the end hope everybody's had a great day jesus loves you and keep it in the field rows see you people bye